Good morning. We just had our barn kit delivered. What's up y'all? So while I was editing the video, I figured um, that we should add a little bit of uh, background for this. So as you can see behind me, we are actually on our land. So this is the beginning um, of our barn build journey. Now, a couple things. We are obviously new at this. We're not going to teach you how to do this because there are people out there that actually know what they're doing and we can link that channel for you. My husband has a few that he has watched a few times and he does have some um, basic building knowledge. So that's what we're going off of. Also, I am the assistant. I have absolutely no knowledge. So I'm just here to uh, cheer him on and help out as needed. This journey actually took a few months to complete. So let's get started from the very beginning. There's quite a bit of uh, filming that was not completed. And that's because once it got to the point where we're actually setting the poles into the ground, that's where I, I had to be hands-on as well. All right, one more thing to know is that we are doing this as a family experience as well. We, uh, you're typically gonna see our oldest working the skid steer or controlling it. And um, occasionally our youngest one hops in there too, but typically it's our oldest. And at the same time now he's learning a new skill set. Both of them are obviously, uh, but he's done really well. Um, you can, you might be able to see it from the very beginning of this video where it was a little bit slower and everything. Now he's actually quite skilled on it and he's better at using it than I am, so which is pretty awesome. So um, that does take a little bit of time as well, just them getting to learn, um, learning how to use the machine, how to uh, control it, how to also, uh, you'll see my husband give hand signals, how he, the direction that he wants the skid steer to face or angle whatsoever. So that does take a little bit of time, but they've done a great job with it. And honestly, we are enjoying this process learning together. As usual, we are racing the rain. So what he is doing is secured the two poles we set today. Well, they're not set set, but secured it so hopefully they don't move when the storm rolls in. And he's going to put some plastic over it. To hopefully keep most of the water out. We are back here today racing the rain as usual, uh, but what we've been doing is putting, um, depending on the weather, one to two poles 
set into the ground, just secured, and then um, just doing as much work as possible before the storms roll in. We're back here today. We're working on the side poles here. Got the holes already uh, augged out. And we're gonna try to get as many poles set as possible today on the sides before the storms roll in this afternoon. I do have a time lapse where it shows where I'm actually walking back and forth. We are measuring the line off the poles. We're measuring the depth. You can see that he's using his Stabila um, level, laser level, to make sure that we have it properly down into the hole, that we are making it um, nice and level and that it is still squaring up. So as you can see from the video, um, we would, were fighting the rain constantly as a typical Florida summer. And we would come out here, we'd, do, we'd be able to get one to two poles set before the rain would start rolling in. So I can honestly say that this was, there were times of frustration. There were times where we just wanted to stop and we even talked about just hiring a company. <laughs> However, we knew that we were saving thousands of dollars, like literally thousands and thousands of dollars. And um, we never got so far, and then we knew that we could do it. So yeah, we had the frustrations. Yes, we had a, the inclement weather that we were dealing with. Um, he had rented an auger also that uh, the holes, it was too, too big, so we were really having to fill in around it. Um, <clears throat> so it was definitely a labor of love, however, as all projects that we do. Yeah, there's frustrations, but when we finish it, we love that we have accomplished that. So while this may seem daunting, it is it's doable. <laughs> yeah, it is, you can do it, you too. <laughs> oh, Lordy, all right, anyway, it is still doable and it just takes a lot of patience just being up front. You guys know that we there's gonna be frustrations, there's gonna be times where you wanna give up and um, just throw in the towel, however, Still completely doable. Now, of course, we do have some great equipment that we're using. He's got a Kubota 97, as well as the boom that reaches pretty high up to be able to set those eight by eights. Uh, so that does make it easier. And as well as, you know, we've got child labor that we're using. So I'm um, just kidding, YouTube, don't ban me for that. But they are learning and we're all working together, doing a great job. And uh, yeah, next video is gonna show you how we are actually fully setting the poles. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to follow our Barndo journey.